I was astonished. To astonish means to amaze or surprise someone greatly. Say, I was astonished. It's the shock you feel when something completely unexpected happens, like seeing a magic trick that seems impossible or hearing news that takes your breath away. His conscience bothered him. Conscience is your inner sense of what is right and wrong, guiding your actions and thoughts. Say, his conscience bothered him. It's the nagging feeling inside that tells you when you might have done something wrong, and it won't let you rest until you make it right. You disgust me. Disgust is a strong feeling of revulsion or profound disapproval aroused by something unpleasant or offensive. Say, you disgust me. It's when someone's actions or behavior are so unacceptable to you that they make you feel physically sick or extremely offended. Defeat the foe. A foe is an enemy, often one that opposes in battle. Say, defeat the foe. It's like winning against an opponent or overcoming someone who's been trying to prevent your success. In stories, the hero often faces a foe that they must defeat to save the day. Imitate the teacher. To imitate means to copy someone's actions or words, often to learn from them, to mock them playfully, or to show respect. Say, imitate the teacher. It's when students mimic their teacher's mannerisms or way of speaking, sometimes to practice being like them, sometimes in jest. Lunar calendar. Lunar pertains to the moon. Say, lunar calendar. This is a calendar based on the phases of the moon, as opposed to the solar calendar, which is based on the sun. Many traditional festivals and events are scheduled according to the lunar calendar. Persuade the teacher to cancel class. To persuade someone is to convince them to do or believe something through reasoning or argument. Say, persuade the teacher to cancel class. It's when you try to get someone to agree with your point of view or to do what you want, sometimes using logic, reasons, or even charm. Reduction in number. A reduction is the act of making something less or smaller. Say, reduction in number. It's like cutting down on how many candies you eat or decreasing the number of cars on the road to reduce traffic. Solitary life. Solitary means being alone, often by choice and sometimes as a necessity or punishment. Say, solitary life. It's like living like a hermit, away from society or when an animal lives and hunts alone, separate from others of its kind. Urge the student to study. To urge is to encourage or push someone to do something. Say, urge the student to study. It's when you strongly suggest or encourage someone to take action, like studying for a test or trying harder at a task. It's a push meant to motivate and drive action.